So friends, in this video, I'm going to talk about graphing cubic equation in factorized form. So I'll take an, equi an, an equation. So the question is, graph the equation y is equal to x times the bracket 2x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now to graph a cubic equation for NC level 2 is pretty easy. Okay, you have to decide basically three things. Okay, I'll also show you how to find the maximum and minimum though it is not required at level two so at level two you need only three things first you need to decide the shape of the graph okay the second is you need to decide the y-intercept and the third is the x-intercept now what do i mean by that the shape of the uh, of any cubic suppose uh, let me draw a sketch of the basic cubic uh, equation suppose this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis so a basic cubic equation that is y is equal to x cube this is the basic equation it passes from 0 0 it's like goes like this okay so this is your sketch of the basic equation now when it's in a factorized form this slightly changes it can be a shape like this going up down and up so this is called up down up curve up down up curve that means you start going up you reach the maximum you go down reach the minimum and you go up okay so at level two you're not supposed to find or you are not expected to find the maximum minimum but i'll show you how to do it now this is an up down up so you have to decide whether you have an up down and the opposite would be down up down that means you start going down reach the minimum then going up reach the maximum so this is this is called down up down down up down curve okay and of course y intercept is easy you can find y intercept when x is equal to zero and uh, x intercept you can get when y is equal to zero i've drawn two graphs for you to understand which are now this is an up down up curve now how did i by looking at this i can draw this graph like i, I can tell the graph of this would be up down up now how do I, how did i decide i don't do any magic here it's simple so if you expand it only look at the x's okay we're not expanding the whole term it will be x cube i don't know what i'm not interested in this and look at the last terms okay the last three terms is negative one times okay how did they get x cube x times x times x is x cube so this tells me it it would be up down and up but if you expand the numbers or if you multiply the numbers negative one so let me write it negative one times two times negative three okay will give me what plus six now this will tell me the y-intercept it is so easy just expand expand the x's that will give you the shape of the curve expand the numbers or multiply the numbers that will give you the y intercept that's how i have drawn i know that the shape of the curve is up down up okay and the y intercept is six can you see the y intercept is six now to find the x intercept what you do is you set each of them so you can say to find the x intercept you should be knowing that y is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 3. So you have to think like this. When would this become 0? So this would become 0 when x is equal to 1. That's why the x-intercept is 1. When would this become 0? Let me scroll up a little. When would this become 0? When x is negative 2 that's why x is the other x intercept is negative 2 and when would this become 0 when x is 3 and just you have to graph it okay you don't have to find the maximum and minimum 
I will explain. Uh, you don't need to, but uh, when you come to level three, that will be useful. Okay. Uh, okay. So now let me show you the other graph. Now this is a graph of, so the same principle, you simply expand it, multiply the x's. So you've got x times x times negative x. That will give you negative x cubed. Now negative x cubed tells me that the curve has to go down, up, down. Okay, now let me multiply that. I'm not interested in these numbers. Of course, there will be, uh, you can understand expansion. So only look at negative phi times 1 times 1. Okay, negative phi, so let me write that. Negative phi times 1 times 1 would be negative phi. So this is expands to negative phi. And this tells you the y-intercept. Just like that. It's so easy. And that's why I have shown you the y-intercept as negative phi and the shape is down, up, down. And to find the x-intercept, the same logic, you have to consider each of the bracket or each of the term to be zero. So when you consider, so let me write the equation, y is equal to x minus phi times x plus 1 times negative x plus 1. So when would this become 0? Scrolling down, I can say x has to be phi. When will this be 0? When x is negative 1. And when would this become 0? When x is x is 1. Okay. Oh, I hope you understand. Negative 1. Uh, that means x has to be 1 here. Okay, negative 1 plus 1 is, and that's why you can see the x-intercept is phi. Then you've got a 1, and you've got a negative 1, and the shape is like this. So let us start, let us do this example. So let me write this. I've got y is equal to, um, so x times 2x plus 1. So let me copy this. I can copy this, copy, and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, paste. Just like that. Okay. The first step that you do is expand it. Okay. Not the whole expansion, only the x's and the numbers. So I can write this as x minus 0. I'll write 0 for the sake of times 2x plus 1 times x minus 1. So just expanding 2x times, sorry, x times 2x times x is 2x cubed. Okay, now of course 2 does make slightly the shape different, but you're not interested in. So this tells me, what would this tell me? This x cubed, don't look at the 2. It tells me it is, the shape would be up, down, up. Okay, I'm not interested in the middle terms. I'm going to multiply 0, multiply the numbers. We've got 0 or negative 0 times 1 times negative 1. That would be 0 here. So this tells me the y-intercept is 0. Does it make sense? The y-intercept is 0. Now, to find the x-intercept, to find the x-intercept, what should I do? I have to set y is equal to 0. So, I say 0 is equal to x times 2x plus 1 times x minus 1. So, when would this become 0? When x is 0. When would this become 0? When x is 2 times what gives you negative 1. So that should, I hope you understand, it would be negative half. Okay, 2 times negative half gives you negative 1. Plus 1 gives you 0. And this becomes 0 when x is 1. Okay, so let us graph this. So let me bring up the z. Cartesian next. 
finish. Okay, so my this is I have to bring it down. So let me highlight it and bring it down. So, so we know the x intercept, the y intercept, and the shape. The shape is shape goes down. Uh, it's taking too long. So let me bear with me. I will be there with you. Okay, so what is the x intercept? Okay, so I hope you know the by memory the x intercept and the y intercepts are zero here. Okay, so let us start with zero. Then you've got an x intercept of one. What is the shape of the graph? It goes down, up, down. So let me go scroll down a little and bring this down so that I can see what I'm graphing. Okay, I hope you can see this. Let me drag this a little. Okay, so the x-intercepts are one negative half. Okay, so we got zero here. We got a one here and a negative half. Okay, so this is one and this is negative half, and it's very close to each other. So, and your graph is up, down, up. Okay, so. Let us graph this. So this will be, let me change the color. Let me make it thinner. So this is negative half, this is zero and one. Okay, so it's very difficult to graph it, but I'll try. So it, go, it goes up, down, and up. Okay, the graph is too little. I could have drawn with a bigger scale. See you in the next video.